Hi everybody, hope you're well. Um, this is going to be on file bells. It's going to be a little bit of their past history and more recent change to them, which hasn't really been, I don't think, well circulated. Um, so I'm first going to start off with uh, just showing you what the file bells used to look like. So this is what their old graphics used to look like. And there was the purple, the blue, the pink, the yellow and the green. And more recently now, uh, we've got the orange valabella, which came in when Horse Cup came in, which was during the Olympics. Um, and then only certain people who competed in the Horse Cup got an orange valabella if they got a certain placing. I wasn't one of those people. I couldn't have been bothered with Horse Cup. Um, that's, that's a story for another time. Uh, so... Then they brought them out in Horn, Horns of Plenty more recently, so more people were able to get them and complete their trophy collection for Falabellas. So I'm just going to show you each individually here. So we've got the, well, obviously starting off, the orange one, which is the Japanese one. And I believe that this uh, means small or tiny or, you know, something along those lines. So then we've got the Russian one, which I call the Manwib, and that's probably not the right way to say that. But that is the green Falabella. And then we've got uh, the Chinquitin, and I probably didn't say that right either, but that's the Spanish one, and it is purple. And then we have the tiny, which is the pink one, and it's pretty self explanatory what that is um, in regards to its name. And then we've got the Klein, which is, uh, I believe, the origins for that are German, and it's blue. Um, then we have the petite, which is French in origin, and it's yellow. Some people used to call it orange, but it's not. And then I think that's all in regards to the colours. So Falabella is in like days gone by, okay? Um, you could sell them to people, uh, and immediately that person would be able to enter competitions and find the volleyball bonus and what I mean by that is if I open this right I entered this horse earlier in some competitions and you can see a uh, volleyball has just earned you going to a diet bonus for several days now because I was entering show jumping competitions I got the show jumping bonus as you can see here so depending on the competition type that you're entering you're going to get different bonuses so remember that it doesn't matter about the color of the volleyball it's all to do with what competitions the actual horse you're trying to get the volleyball on enters so the change that's happened more recently is, and the reason I found this out was because a friend of mine um, had lent a foul bell to a, a breeding partner of hers to enter, to get up basically on their uh, Grand Prix horse. So they started entering their Grand Prix horse and 600 competitions later and still the foul bell hadn't shown up like, you know, it hadn't appeared here or here, okay? Um, so she thought, okay, this is a wee bit odd, you know. So what she did was she messaged admin and she asked. And admin have said that now Falabellas, you have to have them, you have to have owned them at least 24 hours before you can use them. So I don't know really how true that is, but that's apparently the reason. Um, if, of course, it was just, you know, oh, I, I don't know. Well, I suppose I'm more sort of half on the fences whether I believe that or not, um, but it is a possibility. So if you buy a Falabella out of the direct sales and you find that, you know, there's a day, it just, you don't find it anywhere, that might be it, okay? So what I'm saying to you is if you're planning to buy a Falabella or borrow one from somebody who's willing to lend you it, okay, you need to make sure that you get it in sufficient time before you need it, okay? So the other thing that I'll just quickly mention with Falabellas, and I have covered this before, but it's just if you haven't seen the other video, um, Falabellas basically their main purpose is to give that bonus, but there's a, only a certain chance of getting it. So it's not because you own a Falabella you'll get it, okay? You need to own a certain, you know, at least one Falabella. So a player who, is one that, who owns a Falabella has one chance in a hundred of winning a bonus when they register one of the horses in the competition. A player with two follow bells have a two chance, well, two chances in a hundred of getting the bonus and so on. So if I go back here and I count how many I've got of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven in a hundred chance every time I put a horse into a competition of getting a bonus. 
And the bonus is effective for four days of the life of the horse that it is on. It, the bonus is actually physically on. And fallow bells can be sold. And they've definitely got a lot cheaper. Um, you can sometimes get them for a couple of passes, maybe about 10 or 11. Um, they used to sell for a couple of hundred. So <laughs> they're definitely a lot cheaper to get. Um, if you're lucky enough to save up and get one, just as I said, make sure you get it in a well in advance. Because if this 24 hour rule is true, according to admin, you're gonna you're gonna need it. So I hope this was helpful guys. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover. So I hope you have a lovely day and if you're in the UK at the minute and experience not heat wave, I I I've, I know what you're going through. <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> anyway, um stay cool guys and I'll see you again. Bye guys.